What up Snooze One here, back again with an update for the 3D pack. In this video I want to give you a quick walkthrough on all the new stuff I worked on. A quick reminder, if you already have the pack, you don't need to buy it again. You can simply use the link you already have received to access the updated files. You can also access it under your account if you created one on my website. If you cannot find your link, just reach out to me and I send you a new one. In case you got the pack via Design Cuts or Creative Market, you can simply access the files under your account there. One last point, this will not delete your current installed 3D pack or any other content. This will be installed as a new content, as a new brush set file, but if you feel like it, you could delete the previous version. To give you a quick overview before we dive deeper into the brushes, I worked on a couple new worksheets for the new brushes, a couple new backgrounds, one new appropriate scene, two exercise sheets for the pressure and how to control the perspective with these brushes, and most importantly a video guide for the whole pack taking you from the installation to your first piece. Alright, let's get started with the new brushes. Most of the new brushes are found in the round tips. I marked every new brush with a star so you have a better overview of what is new. We kick it off with the low poly brush. This brush gives you a cool edgy look with different shades of colors. I made a step by step video in the video guide on a cool fire effect you can make with this brush. Next up we have the jam brush. This brush has a reflective like surface and if you're using a black for the base and the white for the top color it gives you this water like effect. Another exciting new brush is the round glossy. This one is intended to be used with the white for the base color or you can also pick the background color of your artwork to give it that effect like the light is coming from behind. Building up on that, the round color. Also with the white for the base color, this brush changes the colors and has some cool reflections going on. Finishing the round brushes are the bubble brushes. We have one clear one. and one with color dynamics that makes it look like soap bubbles. They have an overlay and overlap each other to create this fun bubble-like style. And I also made worksheets for this new brush. Moving on with the round 3D brushes, I almost completely renewed this section. A couple of improvements for the brushes you have seen in the previous 3D pack. And a couple of new ones like the round 3D shadow and the round 3D short with a smooth shadow. This category also features a brush with color dynamics, the round 3D color. In the next category, the chisel brushes we also have a new brush, the chisel low poly, similar to the round low poly brush on a broad edge tip. I also added one completely new category, the brick brushes. I have to say I'm really excited about these brushes since they give you the possibility to really build something and procreate. This category also features a clean 3D pixel like brush and a wall brush. And moving on to the last new brush, it's the highlight brush in the extra category to spice up your lettering even more. Alright, that's it with the update. I'm excited to hear what you think about it and have fun with the new stuff. Make sure to also check out the video guide to get some additional input and tips and tricks along the way.